Hey guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use ChatGPT to code a cryptocurrency trading bot that follows a volume squeeze breakout strategy combined with Bollinger Bands. We'll go step-by-step -step guiding ChatGPT through the process of building a fully functional trading bot designed to work on Bybit futures. Once we have the bot coded and ready, we'll move on to backtesting to see how well the strategy performs in real market conditions. This way, we can evaluate how the bot handles breakouts and whether the strategy is effective over time. So let's dive in and let ChatGPT help us bring this trading bot to life. If you're into coding trading bots and want to see more projects built entirely with ChatGPT, please make sure to like and subscribe. This is a new channel where I'll be creating bots for all the top exchanges, exploring different strategies, and testing them out in real markets. Without wasting much time, let's go through the prompt. For your ease, I will be sharing this prompt in my Telegram channel. You can get it from there. Simply search Algo Trade Mafia on Telegram, and you will find it. We'll start by asking ChatGPT to create a Python script for a cryptocurrency trading bot that operates on Bybit futures using the CCXT library. This bot will implement a volume squeeze breakout strategy in combination with Bollinger Bands to identify trading opportunities. First, we'll ask ChatGPT to design the strategy to recognize breakouts when the price consistently closes outside the Bollinger Bands for three consecutive candles. For a long trade, the bot will need to identify three candles that close above the upper Bollinger Band with a volume spike on the last candle. For a short trade, it will look for three consecutive candles closing below the lower band also with a volume spike on the final candle. Volume spikes will be defined as candles where the volume is at least 1.5 times the 20 period average. Based on these conditions, the bot will then enter either a long or short position. You can go through the prompt in detail later on because now I'll be showing you how this works. We head over to ChatGPT and copy and paste this prompt. I'm using a custom GPT called Algo Trade Architect designed specifically for algo trading. It covers tasks like strategy creation, backtesting, and deployment to streamline the process. The tool is useful for managing repetitive tasks, providing insights, and adjusting strategies across different market conditions. It's available for a one-time cost of $2, and you can find it by searching Algo Trade Architect on Explore GPTs or through the link in the description below. Now, let's paste the prompt and see what we have got. It will create a fully functional bot, so we do not have to worry a lot on making changes all the time. That's how this custom GPT is designed. After the bot is ready, I will paste it in PyCharm and go through it. As ChatGPT is working through this code, let's break down what's happening and get a sense of the power and versatility behind this bot for crypto futures trading. So here's the scoop on what we're building together. The bot is using a one minute time frame to monitor price changes and volatility aiming to capture potential breakout opportunities where the price shoots above or below key levels. Once it detects a breakout, it opens a leverage position, either long or short, based on the trend direction. Now let's go to our code editor and go through the code line by line. It is important to understand each line of code before running it in a live environment. This code starts by importing some important tools. CCXT is used so the bot can talk to a trading platform Time lets the bot pause or wait between actions. Pandas is used to organize and work with data and tables, and date time helps manage dates and times. Each of these tools supports the bot in connecting to the trading platform, getting and analyzing data, and making trades. The bot is set up in a class called Bybit Futures Bot. When you start the bot, you give it some important settings, an API key and secret to access your trading account securely, the trading pair, like Bitcoin to USDT that you want to trade, the time frame, the leverage, how much to multiply the account size, set here to 10 times, and the percentage of the account balance to use on each trade. Default is 5%. Once all these details are set, the bot connects to the platform using CCXD and enables rate limiting to avoid making too many requests to the platform too quickly. The bot also has a set leverage function. This sets the leverage level, allowing the bot to trade with more money than is in the account. Leverage increases both possible profits and risks, so it's important to set it correctly. The bot tries to apply this leverage on the trading platform, and if it works, it prints a message confirming the setup. If it fails, it prints an error to let you know something went wrong. 
To get recent price information, the bot uses the fetch historical data function. This function gathers recent data points that include open, high, low, and close prices for the specified time period, along with trading volume. It then organizes this data in a table format, making it easy to analyze. This is crucial for spotting trends or patterns that could suggest whether it's a good time to buy or sell. If it can't get the data, it will print an error. Next, the bot has a calculate indicators function to analyze the data. Here, it calculates two main indicators, Bollinger Bands and Volume Spikes. Bollinger Bands are created by calculating a 20-period moving average, a kind of price trend, and then measuring how far prices deviate from this average. This helps the bot understand if prices are unusually high or low. Volume Spikes are calculated by checking if trading volume is 1.5 times above the average volume. High volume often means stronger price moves. Another function, Check Persistence Condition, examines of if there is a strong pattern over the last few price points. Specifically, it looks to see if prices have closed above the upper Bollinger Band, indicating a breakout, or below the lower band, while also checking if volume was high. If these conditions are met, it suggests a clear signal to buy or sell. The bot will confirm the signal with message. Function checks the current available balance in the account. This is useful to know how much can be traded at any time. If it works, the bot will print the balance, but if there's a problem retrieving it, it shows an error and sets the balance to zero. To decide how large each trade should be, the bot has a calculate position size. It looks at the account balance, leverage, and current price to determine the number of contracts to buy or sell. This helps the bot stay within the planned risk level by only risking a set portion of the account. The bot prints the calculated size as a confirmation. To track any profit or loss, the bot uses the fetch unrealized profit function, which checks the current profit or loss for any open trades. This is called unrealized because the trade is still open and could change in value. If there's a positive profit, it prints the amount. If there's an error or no trade, it defaults to zero. For opening trades, the bot has an open position function. When it's ready to buy or sell, it fetches the current price and places a market order in order to buy or sell immediately. It saves the entry price and position type, buy or sell, and confirms the trade with a message. If it can't open a position, it prints an error message. The bot can close a trade with its close position function. It checks if there's an open trade and places a market order to close it. After closing, it waits five minutes before looking for new signals. This delay helps to avoid frequent trading. If it fails to close, it prints an error. Finally, the bot has a run function that keeps everything going in a loop. It repeatedly fetches data, calculates indicators, checks for signals. If there's a breakout, opens a position and monitors it for profit or loss. If the bot finds a breakout signal and no position is open, it decides whether to buy or sell based on the signal. After each run, it waits 10 seconds before starting the next check, keeping the bot active without being too fast. In the end, there's a section where you provide your API credentials, set up the bot with desired settings, and run it in an endless loop so it continuously monitors and trades based on the chosen strategy. Let me run this bot and see if it's working as expected or not. The bot starts by setting the leverage to 20x for trading BTC USDT. This means it will trade with an amount that is 20 times the available account balance, which can amplify both potential profits and risks. Setting this leverage is essential for the bot to follow the strategy's intended risk and reward levels. Once the leverage is set, the bot confirms that it has initialized successfully with the specified settings, including the 20x leverage on BTC USD. This message lets us know that the bot is ready to start monitoring the market with all necessary parameters configured. The bot then begins by fetching recent historical data for BTC USD. This data includes information such as opening price, high and low prices, closing price, and trading volume over the selected time periods. Having this data is critical because the bot will use it to analyze market conditions and calculate indicators, which guide its trading decisions. After retrieving the data, the bot confirms that it has successfully fetched all the necessary information. This means it now has a complete set of price data and is ready to start analyzing it to look for potential trading signals. Next, the bot calculates important indicators, including Bollinger Bands and volume spikes. Bollinger Bands help the bot see if the price is moving significantly above or below the recent average, while volume spikes can indicate strong buying or selling interest. 
These indicators are key to the bot's strategy as they help it detect potential breakout opportunities in the market. Following the indicator calculations, the bot checks for any breakout signals. At this stage, it examines the indicators to see if prices are breaking out of the Bollinger Bands with high volume, which could be a sign of strong momentum and a possible trading opportunity. The bot then goes a step further to check for a sustained breakout condition by looking at recent price movements. It examines the last few price points to see if they are consistently closing outside the Bollinger Bands with high volume. If this condition is met, it could indicate a clear trading signal. However, in this case, the bot finds that no valid breakout signal exists, so it decides not to enter a trade. Next, the bot retrieves the current account balance, which is $25 and a few cents. Knowing the balance allows the bot to calculate the appropriate position size for the next potential trade, ensuring that it stays within the risk limits set at the beginning. The bot then calculates the position size based on the available balance, leverage, and risk percentage. This calculation is important because it determines how large the next trade should be, keeping it within the planned risk levels. After calculating the position size, the bot confirms that it would trade this much amount of contracts if a signal is detected. This value represents the amount the bot is prepared to buy or sell if a trading opportunity arises. Finally, the bot enters a brief waiting period of 10 seconds. This pause prevents it from making requests too frequently and allows time for the market to potentially change before it checks again. After this pause, it will restart the process, fetching new data and analyzing it for any signs of a breakout. Now, I have also created a backtesting class which uses the exact same logic and backtests on historical data. Let's run this and see how it performs. As the backtest runs, we're watching the strategy take both long and short trades at calculated price points, aiming to capitalize on market trends. With each trade, the position sizes are adjusted, balancing potential profit with controlled risk. We'll soon see how effectively this approach handles market fluctuations, aiming for steady growth while managing any drawdowns. The upcoming summary will reveal if these decisions translate into consistent profitability and risk-adjusted returns. In this backtest, the strategy was actively long and short positions at various price points, with a total of 81 trades executed. Starting with a balance of 100, it achieved a significant increase, reaching 466 by the end, suggesting consistent profitability. The strategy maintained a reasonable win rate of 54.32%, meaning it succeeded slightly more than half the time. The high sharp ratio of 10.38 indicates strong returns relative to the risk taken, and the CalMar ratio of 55.09 points to efficient growth even with market volatility. Max drawdown remained low at 8.97, showing good risk management and limited losses during dips. Overall, this backtest reflects a balanced and robust trading strategy with disciplined to position, sizing, and favorable returns against moderate risk. Thanks for watching. If you want to try out this fully functional trading bot yourself, join my Telegram channel where you can find it pinned at the top. Just make sure you have CCXT installed. And don't forget to add your API key and secret before running the bot. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe as I'll be sharing more videos on new strategies created with ChatGPT. For those interested in a step-by-step -step guide, I also have a Udemy course that walks you through building your own trading bot using ChatGPT, and I'll leave the link in the description. Let me know in the comments which strategy you'd like me to cover next.